Well, it's the first day of the new lockdown and i um, standing in our garden. It's actually blue skies, a few clouds, beautiful, cold. Uh, November morning, November the 6th, uh, November the 5th, sorry. Uh, but um, beautiful day. Hear the birds, can hear children going to school. And yet it's the first day of a new lockdown and we're still waiting for the results of the American presidential elections as well. There's a lot of things to think about, a lot of things to pray about as well. And I just want to share with you a couple of verses from different parts of the Bible. <clears throat> what I'm doing in my daily devotions is uh, going through the New Testament in a year. So coming up to the end of that following through a program from the app uh, Uversion. I recommend that to you if you want to know what to read. They've got a lot of short uh, series of readings, uh, so a few days, a couple of weeks, but also year-long programs as well, which really help us to be regular in our Bible reading, which is really important for our spiritual life. I encourage you, if you uh, want to know, want some help on what to read, program of reading, then uh, use the Version app, it's really helpful. Uh, in addition, I'm reading a psalm as well, just to lead myself in, in terms of worship. And today I was on to Psalm 24, and it's a bit of a challenging psalm. <clears throat> Verse 3 says, um, Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place? And it goes on to talk about the characteristics or the qualifications for the person who may stand in God's holy place, who may ascend his mountain. And I always, I always feel, not me. Uh, I don't qualify. Uh, I'm not good enough. And it is a real kind of list of things that um, would really disqualify all of us. And it's easy when we come face to face with the law of God uh, to feel unworthy. A lot of people say, I feel unworthy. Uh, to be a Christian. And my always response is, you are unworthy. That's the point. We need forgiveness. We need mercy. Because none of us is perfect. Not about having a downer on us. It's just an accurate self-evaluation. Uh, the recovery programs, um, like uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, uh, tells people to do a, a, an honest self-appraisal. Um, which many of us are unwilling to do, to face up to the dark side of ourselves. And so facing the law of God, let alone our own, our own ideals, um, the, the ideals of Alcoholics Anonymous, but facing God's moral law, the law of the universe, <clears throat> we should feel, we do feel inadequate, uh, not worthy to ascend his mountain, to enter into his holy place. And I always feel that. And yet, of course, that is a description, that whole psalm, read it sometime, is a description of Jesus. Jesus is the one who can ascend the mount of the Lord. Jesus is the one who can stand in his holy place because he is the perfect human being and he is the one who atones for our sins. So reading Hebrews uh, chapter 3 in verse 1, just one little phrase says, fix your thoughts on Jesus. Amidst all the, uh, the other stuff it's saying, it says, fix your thoughts on Jesus. And I encourage you today, whatever you're facing, fix your thoughts on Jesus. You may be facing problems, you may be facing temptations, you may be facing dilemmas, you may be facing lockdown, illness, whatever it may be. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Jesus. And we follow Jesus. We have faith in Jesus. We trust him and we are in Christ if we have given our lives to him. So whatever's true about Jesus true about us. I can ascend the mount of the Lord. I can stand in the holy place because I'm in Christ, because I'm trusting in his sacrifice on the cross. So I, I'm not worthy, but he is worthy and I trust in him. Father God, thank you that by faith in Christ and his death on the cross, we too can stand in your holy place. We are not obliterated by your holiness. We're not burned up by your righteousness, but we are warm we are accepted, we are welcomed into your presence because of Jesus. Help us today to trust in him and to look to him, to fix our thoughts on him today. Amen. So thank you for being with me. Just to remind you that all our services uh, at KCBC, that's Thursday evenings, uh, Sunday mornings and Sunday afternoons for our French service will all be on Facebook Live at the normal times. 
In addition, we're starting a new program uh, on uh, Instagram on Sunday evenings at seven o'clock called Thinking Aloud. And this is a program of um, apologetics, of answering questions about the Christian faith. You can find us at, at KCBC London on Instagram. And you can ask questions as well in the comments section of that live feed. This Sunday on the 8th, I'll be interviewing um, Ben Chang, who is a doctor and uh, he's part of All Souls uh, Church in central London. He's also part of the Christian Medical Fellowship and he's been working in A&E throughout the pandemic. So we're going to be talking together about what God's doing, what's he on about during COVID-19. So join me on Instagram Live uh, at KCBC London, 7 o'clock Sunday evening, for a conversation about what God is doing in COVID-19. If you've got friends who are asking questions, invite them along as well. And please do subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel as well. God bless you. God be with you. And he is with you always. Fix your thoughts on Jesus.